Ely. The federal lawsuit says Holmes and Theranos raised more than $700 million between 2013 and 2015 by, quote, deceiving investors, convincing them they had developed a commercially ready portable blood analyzer when, in fact, they had not. The Democrats are lashing out at the Trump administration's attempt to dismantle Obamacare. New Jersey's Frank Pallone with their weekly address. Last week, Republicans directly threatened the health care of millions of Americans when the Trump administration asked a federal court to strike down key patient protections included in the Affordable Care Act. He says the move would mean more people over 50 would pay more for insurance. This is USA Radio News. Wayne Allen for Bullet Blocker. I love the guys. Sometimes you find a product and you go, wow, why didn't I think? Trained as an Army Ranger and former deputy chef, Joe Curran invented the world's first bulletproof backpack. Now Joe has built a successful made in the U.S. company that offers bulletproof your most precious assets. Children, backpacks, bulletproof clothing, vests, briefcase, and more. Bullet Blocker gives your kids the gift of life. Stylish clothing that protects like the armor. Go to bulletblocker.com and enter code WAR to save 10%. That's bulletblocker.com, bulletblocker.com. Walgreens is accused of contributing to the opioid crisis. USA's Chris Barnes reports. Kentucky is suing the pharmacy giant Walgreens over what state officials call a dual role in the opioid crisis. In the lawsuit, Kentucky Attorney General Andy Bashir alleges that through its as both a pharmacy and a distributor, Walgreens directly contributes to the state's drug epidemic. It's the sixth opioid-related lawsuit that A.G. Bashir has filed, and it's the last in a wave of such lawsuits brought by state and local governments against the pharmaceutical industry as a result of the opioid epidemic. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. The CDC is warning Americans not to eat Kellogg's Honey Smacks because the cereal has been linked to a multi-state outbreak of salmonella infections. With more, here's John Clemens. A recall of the Kellogg Company's Honey Smacks has been issued by the CDC involving product that has best used by date of June 14, 2018 through June 14, 2019. Tom Skinner is with the CDC. There are 73 cases of this salmonella infection being reported from 31 states. 24 of the 73 people have been hospitalized, and thankfully no deaths have been reported. You are to either throw the product away or return it to where it was purchased for a refund. I'm John Clemens. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace and comfort for your family? We're finally expensive with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-569-3414. That's 800-569-3414. Again, 800-569-3414. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media. It is another uh, Garden America radio show, and a good morning, happy weekend, happy Saturday, back with Tiger Palafox. I'm Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, two hours of uh, gardening talk, got a great guest lined up, and of course, uh, second hour, as always, is uh, open phones, your questions, comments. I should say also open Facebook for your questions, comments, and open email, john at gardenamerica.com. So three ways to get in touch with us as far as uh, questions, comments. Again, that phone number is toll-free at 855-424-9825, john at gardenamerica.com. 
here on Biz Talk Radio and Facebook Live. Thank you for tuning in. We are ready to go, and I'm going to go to John first of all because John, uh, back from a very relaxing week. Uh, you're tanned. You're ready to go, and uh, everything's good in the Bagnasco world, isn't it? I say that every week because you do. You have a nice relaxing week. We talk back and forth, and last time we spoke during the week, you were on your chaise lounge with a drink in your hand, and you were actually gardening from uh, your prone position, which I thought was very interesting. <laughs> you know, I don't drink. Drink in hand. I oh. didn't say what it was. Oh, okay. Well, you drink wine. Occasionally. Not much. Especially even less now that I can't taste it. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Like, huh? what's the point? But you, you have a good week, though, all kidding aside. Things are good, right? Yeah, you know what I was just noticing is that never used to really look at you and Tiger were wearing. <laughs> Until, Facebook Until Facebook Live. So you can make sure Until Facebook the video. Live. And the only way I can find out where I am on Facebook is by looking to see what I'm wearing. Because we have oh, older shows posted. Right, to see if I'm in the right area. Yeah, so you have to so see what we're wearing and then... I did find it. Don't you know what I'm doing at check home? Check that with what's on Facebook. Go ahead. I'm, uh, we, you know we sold our house. Yes. Well, we haven't sold our house yet. Actually, we're getting ready to build a new house, and we're going to put our old house on the market pretty soon once we start construction on the new house. But meantime, I had thought we during earlier in the year we were going to sell our house and then move and then build a house. Right. And that just didn't make any sense. But because of that, I didn't do all the weeding and pruning that I should have done. I mean, I did enough just to get by. You mean to show the house in preparation? Right, okay. I did enough to get by, but the week kind of gotten away from me. So the, what I did do this week was probably probably put out four of those huge recycle bins of just grass that I had pulled out among the roses. And getting under some of those roses to get the, the grass. I mean, to do a good job to weed, right? Yeah, it's yeah, just it's tough. You know, you've got I've got blood dripping down my arms. <laughs> Now, see, those are the kind of pictures we want to see. Uh, you should have taken a picture, sent it to me. I would have posted it on our Facebook page. Well, I don't know if you're familiar with moss roses, but they're an old garden rose. And they're called moss because the... They grow on the north side of the house. No, no. There's a moss, mossy growth on the bud. And you can kind of rub it with your fingers and get a little bit of a scent. But there's thousands of, of thorns on the stems or... Um, Trying to think of the correct name. The thorn? Yeah, for rose thorns. Thistle. No. no. <laughs> God, my mind <laughs> Pokey just went things. blank. Anyway, so you're trying to rub the moss off with this substance. No, 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 no. So what I'm saying is there's so many thorns on the stems of the rose that, I mean, if you get anywhere near it, you, you're just scraped. R right. You're going to get yeah, it. Yeah, it was You're going to get bit. It was horrible. But anyway, I did. It's nice to find a lot of roses that I didn't know I had. <laughs> Fortunately, the the tags are still in the pots. But you know that's funny you mentioned that because I'll be out in the patio doing stuff, and Dana's in the house, and every now and then she hears this. Ow! <laughs> what happened? I got bit by a rose. Never mind. <laughs> Prickle. Prickle's Prickle is what I'm trying to Prickle. think. Prickle. Yeah. Prickly Pete. Yeah. Roses don't have thorns; they have prickles. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Oh, you got, you got Tiger off to a happy start <laughs> yeah. this morning. <laughs> Almost ate the mic right now. It doesn't even sound like a manly comment. <laughs> if somebody on Facebook is, is talking about poor John, how your roses always attack you. Did you see that from Carolyn? No, I didn't. They don't attack me. They appreciate it, but they're, they're roses. Yeah. And yeah. that's their protection. They have, they have one way to show love. <laughs> and that's protection. Right. Yeah. That protects them, it's right? It's like that, that story about the woman in, that saves the poisonous snake. You know, and brings them back from freezing. And then once the snake's all healthy, it bites her and kills her. And she, and she says, why would you do that after everything I did for you? And he said, well, you knew I was a snake when you brought me in. <laughs> Same thing exactly, with the rose. Exactly right. <laughs> so let me ask you, so how do deer and various other creatures, how, how are they able to eat roses and not worry about thorns and prickles and thistles and things like that? Or does it not bother them? I think... I think them eating roses is kind of like us eating puffer fish. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good way, but on a more simple term, like a like a kiwi fruit. 
Okay. Okay. Nobody likes to eat the outside of a kiwi fruit, but the inside is good enough to put in work to actually eat the kiwi fruit, right? And that's kind of like a rose. The foliage and the flowers are good enough for them to be a little bit careful around so, eating the so plant. They, they eat around it, you think. They don't just eat the whole thing. Well, if you're eating, they usually eat the, the new, foliage. new foliage, too. Oh, and yeah. those thorns are very supple. And, it's, yeah. and the foliage is supple and soft. And it's at the tips of the plant. It's not in the plant. Okay, right. that's good. So, you so know, that's, that's what they're depends doing. Depends on the time of the year, too. That's why I like Green Planet. Because there's no thorns? No thorns. I was looking at my Green Planet uh, out in my yard yesterday. And I probably had maybe... Eight blooms on it. Yeah, I had a bunch of and them, and they they just last forever. I've still every got, time I look at that rose, I think of you because I, I know you have one in in your patio. Which, by the way, I'm trying to figure out the the year that my son bid on that rose. Oh and, wow! Okay, so I'm gonna t- because I was driving my red Ford truck at the time. It was back at the original little townhouse. I or, think that might ta- have been the first auction you ever or, did or town hall. So this has to be like 2005 or six. So that so that rose, which is still blooming and budding every year, is 12, 13 years old and doing, doing well. Except this year I noticed the first couple of buds. I've got the um, right around the sides of the, uh, the edges of the, uh, the blossom is brown. It's not, not a full, supple green color. Remember what, what I told what, you what on is those that? is they start to open. If you cut them and let them open indoors, they won't get those spots on them. It's, it's, it's brown all the way around the side of the That's b- probably the a little bit of botrytis. Really? Yeah, because we've had cool weather. Okay. But other than that, they're very prolific, and these suckers bloom. And you're right. As far as a cut rose to bring into the house in a vase, it's going to last you two or three weeks. There's some really unique features of green roses that you normally wouldn't think of. One is that the flowers themselves, the flower bud or the rose— gets um, aphids Mm -hmm. much more so than any other rose and the reason any other color rose the reason is that there's chlorophyll in the green rose in the rose itself that's what in the rose petals attracting them so that it attracts the aphids and the other thing is that almost everyone just lasts (laughs) lasts forever yeah they do they do because a long time uh, chris greenwood uh, our rosarian friend used to say they last speaking of green yeah (laughs) greenwood Said that they last so long, you can will them to your children after you've cut them. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, we do have a rather long quote we do uh, for this week, John. Your quote oh, of the week. I'm not and ready. Then we'll uh, we can move to break coming up here. Our guest is going to be uh, with us, uh, locked and ready to go. And Tiger, you can give a little tease as far as uh, who our guest is and what we can expect. Well, this weekend we're going to be talking with Bill. Bill. Stingle with Summit Chemicals, and it's a perfect timely topic where we're getting into summer and those pesky flying bugs that all attack your backyard barbecue. Don't tell me those, right? Fly, all that stuff. He's got some great solutions for us. All right. All right. In the quote of the week now, Mr. John Magnasco. And the quote is, uh, man is wise and constantly in quest of more wisdom. The ultimate wisdom, which deals with beginnings, remains locked in a seed. There it lies, the simplest fact of the universe, and at the same time, the one which calls forth faith rather than reason. That was from garden writer Hal Borland. I like that. It's a good quote. It's deep. It is very Very deep. deep. Yeah. That moment of silence also brought to us by our good friends at Bayer. Bayer. Well, I didn't say anything because I thought that... You were waiting for a reaction. We needed to absorb it. We needed to absorb it. Well, no, no, I heard a little bit of uh, music, and I thought... You were going to take. You didn't out. think you didn't think that was kind of nice behind you, the little, you know. <laughs> it was like an epiphany. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it is break time, as we mentioned, and we're going to come back with our guest. Uh, Tiger explained who our guest is and what we're going to be talking about. Those pesky, bu- uh, pesky bugs, how to get rid of them. Mosquitoes. And we have a contest we're going to be talking about a- too. Absolutely. So stay with us. A contest we need to talk about. Thank you for tuning in, watching us on Facebook Live, also on uh, 
AM 1240 here in San Diego. By the way, the replay of today's show and every show heard in Los Angeles and Southern California on AM 740. I'm Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, taking a break. We are coming right back. Wow, your flowers are gorgeous. What's your secret? It's no secret. It's bare advanced. You mean these blue bottles? Uh-huh. I protect my beauties with all-in-one rose and flower care. It's insect and disease control plus fertilizer. Really? What's this 12-month tree and shrub protect and feed? Oh, I use it on my trees. It kills bugs for up to a year, plus it feeds. It's that easy. Hey, where are you going? To get my own. I want a great yard, too. Bear Advanced. Get more from the... Always read the label instructions. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready-to-spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Do you have an old car sitting in your driveway? How would you like to learn a hassle-free way to get rid of it, help kids in need, and get a great tax donation in the process? It's real easy. One simple free call to our car donation hotline is all it takes. Call the Nishama Foundation at 800-721-6723. 800-721-6723. We'll come pick your car up for free and give you a tax donation for the full value of the car, running or not. The value of your unwanted car will go to help kids in need. It's fast and easy. Just call us and your car will be gone and on its way to helping children in 48 hours. And you get a nice tax deduction. Foundation now to get rid of your car, help kids, and get a tax write-off. Call 800-721-6723. 800-721-6723. That's 800-721-6723. Got an old car? You can whether it's running or not to the United Breast Cancer Foundation and save a life. They'll even come and pick it up for free. The United Breast Cancer Foundation has saved hundreds of women's lives through their free or low-cost breast screen exams. But now they need your help. The United Breast Cancer Foundation wants to save more lives through early detection by offering women free or low-cost breast screening exams. And donating your old car, SUV, or truck, whether it's running or not, helps pay for them. Plus, you get a charitable tax deduction. Help the United Breast Cancer Foundation save lives by donating your old car, SUV, or truck. Call now for free pickup. 800-245-0473. 800-245-0473. Call right now. That number again is 800-245-0473. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering building prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800 605 5370. 800-605-5370. Call 800-605-5370. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825 or john at gardenamerica.com. Right back here on Garden America. Thank you for tuning in, watching us on Facebook Live. Comments starting to come in. As a matter of fact, uh, Patty wanted to know quickly if uh, Green Planet had any kind of an aroma, fragrance, or smell. 
As far as I know, John, it does not. And no, I, think, and I think you agreed with most, me, right? Most green roses, I've never smelled a green rose that had any fragrance at all. They're just pretty to look at. Right. I like them. And well, you know why? Yes. Just quickly. Before we get to Bill? We were talking about how long they last as a cut flower, and it's the same is true with florist roses. The reason they last longer than garden roses is that the petals are thicker. And because they're thicker, they don't give up the volatile oils that carry the fragrance as easily as an outdoor rose. So a general rule is the longer that a rose will last as a cut flower, the less it, less it will smell. Wow, look at that, Tiger. We just, in that brief, what, 15, 20 seconds? Blew my mind. Look at the knowledge. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Okay. But I don't know nearly as much about uh, keeping mosquitoes at bay. Ah, but Bill does. But Bill does, and that's why we brought Bill on this weekend, because with the start of summer, yep. and this is a little bit of my own, because I had a barbecue last weekend, and there was some mosquitoes in my backyard, and I'm like, ooh, how do I get rid of you, these You things? have too much water sitting still. I must. I must. So... We brought Bill with Summit Chemicals on this week, on with us this weekend to talk about backyard pests as we get into the summer months. Bill, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, Bill. So, Summit Chemicals has a big line of products that do a lot of different stuff. Tell us a little bit about your guys' company and what you guys specialize in. Well, we're we're actually a, a small company based in Baltimore, um, and we manufacture everything ourselves. And our real claim to fame is mosquito control, uh, particularly natural mosquito control. Uh, we have a couple of products that are biologically based. They're not chemical products, even though we have chemical in our name. Uh, and, and they're a bacteria that kills the mosquito larva. And the cool thing about this bacteria is that it's absolutely harmless to everything else. Now... This bacteria is so harmless, and not that this is going to you know, make everyone feel safe, but this is kind of the same product that a lot of municipalities used in, use in standing water areas, right? Oh, absolutely. So they use this in their um, ponds yeah. and reservoirs sometimes when they have mosquito problems in these large areas. And those have fish and birds and all kinds of wildlife going into those, right? Oh, no question. Um, you know, when it comes to mosquito control, sometimes people get upset when they hear about people, uh, about municipalities spraying things and, and dropping things. And, and you have to look at mosquito control as basically a two-pronged approach. Uh, the adult mosquito, unfortunately, there is no non chemical way for adult mosquitoes. If you have an adult infestation, and it's becoming a public health issue, which mosquito, mosquito control uh, departments are. Chemical. But to reduce those mosquito populations in the beginning, uh, most of these places will use a mosquito larvicide. So a larvicide is the larval stage of mosquitoes. Um, and they're always in water. They're always in standing water. And the larvicide that we have, which is a BI bacteria-based, is safe to use in all those areas and won't affect any other life. Um, no pets, no people, no beneficial insects, nothing but the mosquito larva. And tell us a little bit about, okay, so adult mosquitoes. How long do they live? A couple of weeks, generally. Okay. And your guys' product, bath, reservoir, how long does it last? How long is it effective for? Uh, well, it depends on the product. We, we have a couple of different products. We have one that's called Mosquito Dunks, um, and, and that's probably what we're best known for. Mosquito Dunks is a, a small beige donut looking item with a hole in the center that floats on standing water and as it slowly dissolves over the next 30 to 60 days it continuously releases into the water the bti so mosquito larvae are filter feeders 
So they're constantly swimming around in the water in this stage of their life, trying to get nutrients so that they can grow up and get to the next stage and eventually become adult mosquitoes. So they're sucking in everything that they can. And once they suck in the BTI, it's um, to every other animal, it's a protein. But interestingly enough, with the biology of mosquitoes, when it gets into their stomach, it's actually a gut disruptor to them. Uh, so once they consume it, they literally starve to death. And and so, I mean, they don't, they don't know enough to take Tums, because that's what I do when I've got a gut to disrupt. <laughs> yeah, good one, John. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, in reality, though, you had mentioned there's no, no non-chemical way to kill adult mosquitoes, but your guys' product, it doesn't, you, to some degree, you don't really matter because... An adult mosquito is only going to live a couple of weeks. Your product's lasting, you know, month, 90 days, depending on how it's used and where it's used, that you're stopping the cycle of these adult mosquitoes coming about. So, you know, if you put this product in, even if you have adult mosquitoes, in a month, the adult mosquitoes have died off. There's no new ones to take their place, and you're kind of minimizing your mosquito population, right? Exactly. Okay. And... What is the mosquito span, just the warm months? So what, what kind of temperatures are we talking? Well, uh, you got to look at mos- mosquitoes as being a frost, frost mm-hmm. kind of thing. So okay. in areas that don't get frost, you're going to have them year-round. Now, w- in the cooler weather, they're going to be suppressed, but you're not going to completely get rid of mosquitoes in in San Diego. Right, right. Okay. So this is the core time of year, though, that it's going to be a problem. It'll continue all the way through oh, almost absolutely. almost October, November for us, where people are going to be having this problem. Right. Okay. And then, you know, the other thing that you had mentioned, it's important for our listeners to understand that, you know, the reason why we want to get rid of mosquitoes is because of, you know, vector control issues. You have West Nile, you have other pathogens that they carry and can ultimately harm people, animals, all kinds of stuff, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, we, we the, the mosquito is literally the most dangerous animal in the world. You know, if you look at world statistics for people dying from uh, animals, it's it's mosquitoes that kill over people a year. Now, fortunately, we don't have anything near kind of mortality rate in the U.S. Uh, unfortunately, that's it's mostly in impoverished countries. Um, African countries where they don't have the means uh, to control mosquitoes that are really running rampant. Hey, Bill, we're going to have to take a break. Just, here in the U- Bill, Bill, real quick, we're going to take a break, but we'll get back to this right after this series of commercials. Yeah, Bill's got a good make, so stay with us, and Bill, hold that thought. Garden America, I'm Brian May. We're going to take a break, coming right back with Bill. Stay with Want us. Want a better-looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower way to mow. Husqvarna's Intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around the lawn without supervision. Tricky terrain. You to set up and forget, even from your smartphone. Thanks to us, have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to Mission Nursery.com for more info. You want to take the great shows of Biz Talk Radio wherever you go? Well, now you can with the new BizTalk Radio app for iPhone and Android devices. Now all the great shows of BizTalk Radio are with you wherever you go, just an arm's reach away on your smartphone. Download today at the App Store or the Google Play Store and get a brand new BizTalk Radio app. It's biz for you wherever you go with the new BizTalk Radio app. All right, guys, we're ready for our four season sunroom, and Daddy's gonna get a rec room with refreshments. Oh no, we'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym, my gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her four seasons garden room, weather tight, and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh no, wait, a family hub. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. 
Call now to receive your free, no obligation brochure from the premier manufacturer of sunroom since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll free 800 928 7007. That's 800 928 7007. Call 800 928 7007 today. Attention, are you moving soon and don't know who to turn to? If you are moving or planning to move long distance or across the country, Moving APT is offering up to a 20% discount for radio callers this month. Let us handle and remove all the pain and stress in a long distance move. Let Moving APT help you with your all-inclusive move, including paying services, help with washers and dryers, mounted TVs, bed frames, and more. We include packing and unpacking services, ask for boxes we also disassemble and reassemble appliances and tvs at your new home moving is difficult and stressful so call moving apt today to find the most professional movers to support you if you are looking for a low-cost quote to move long distance or across the country call us now call 800-716-0362 800-716-0362 get a guaranteed quote with up to 20 percent off 800-716-0362 as a small business owner there's one word that you absolutely dread payroll for small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself. But come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychecks simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online or call your dedicated Paychecks payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more at trypaychecks.com. Come on, do the math. The IRS dishes out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now, 877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. There's no question you need omega-3s, but which form should you take? Fish oil or krill oil? Scientists have debated this for years. Luckily, there's a new solution to satisfy everyone. It's called Krill Omega 50 Plus. It combines ultra-pure fish oil and joint soothing krill oil together in just one tiny pill. It's so powerful, it can promote the health of your heart and your arteries. And if that wasn't enough, it can also boost your joint comfort in just days. We're so sure Krill Omega 50 Plus will work for you. We'll even send you a free to put to the test. The debate is over. Both. And now it's free. Just pay $4.95 for shipping and claim your free bottle. Call now. 800 834 4690. 800 834 4690. That's 800 834 4690. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825 or john at gardenamerica.com. Right back here on Garden America, and we do appreciate your uh, your comments there. I guess we're experiencing a little bit of an audio problem this morning. It's spotty here and there due to... Uh, our internet connection, but we are working on it, and that should be smoothed out here in a very, very short period of time. Anyway, back here on uh, BizTalk Radio, John at GardenAmerica.com. Also, questions, comments on Facebook Live or 855-424-9825. Tiger, just before the break, Bill was making a point as we continue to discuss uh, mosquitoes. Yeah, we were we were just chatting why you know it's important to make sure to minimize the mosquito population in your community and what problems they can cause by being around you know pets and kids and people you know but... what they just bite <laughs> yeah, right? that's yeah. irritating you know i hate i I'm, I'm thinking you know fortunately in southern california we have very few mosquitoes oh it's not like back east oh my gosh i know or, or I'm the thinking midwest of the hot summer nights in detroit where the temp the humidity was 98 percent 
and you're just sweating, and you couldn't go outside, sure. or mosquitoes would eat you alive. You'd have 100 bites on you in, yeah. in 10 seconds. And you'd always get one that came in the house and would just buzz around the room. You knew it was going to get you when you fell asleep. Um, th- we do have a comment I want to read real quickly, Bill, to you from one of our listeners, and maybe you can kind of shed some light on this issue. And it's from Catherine, and she's in Florida, and she says, Bacillus thuringian- I'm Thuringiensis. Thuringiensis. Thuringiensis, yes. Is the same as those small donuts shaped at the garden centers, which are mosquito dunks, the right. product that we're talking about, meant to be added in bird bath ponds, etc. Um, we have a lot of standing water in our area. The mosquito trucks sprayed overnight in my neighborhood. Next morning, four koi fish in the pond were dead. Strong pesticides were used. Uh. So, I mean, do they... Do communities use a, a pesticide for that problem? Or was this something that was maybe, um, you know, just a coincidence? No, when when um, when they're spraying products, they use some type of chemical uh, pesticide. Okay. And it would seem a little dangerous if they're just, like, the wind could blow that everywhere, right, Bill? Or how, how do they contain that to the degree so things like this don't happen, if it's possible? Well, if it's aerial spraying, like in this woman's case in Tampa, it went right over her pond. I mean, yeah, it, I mean they don't, you don't even need wind. It yeah. just needs to drop down. No, ab- absolutely. And most of the chemical sprays, unfortunately, are toxic to fish. Uh, where where the mosquito larvae live. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, so yeah. I loaded up a link for... Well, again, you know, what they're, what they're trying to do when they're spraying is they're trying to knock down a full adult population. And unfortunately, you're going to get that collateral damage yeah. of, of fish and, 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 and non-target insects will also be affected. The ni- a nice comment you might want to read, Bill, on Facebook from Carolyn. Do you see that one, Tiger? Uh, and mosquito dunks were great in our pond, and they didn't bother the fish. So, yeah. So the product that Catherine was talking about was not what we're de- we're right. talking about now. Obviously, well, that was something that was sprayed by a municipality. It was a chemical. And as Bill said, they all will affect other population besides po- mosquito population. Just a minor point. Catherine uh, was questioning about <clears throat> Bacillus thuringiens- thuringiensis, mm-hmm. which is Bt. But what Bill is talking about is BTI, which is Thuringiensis israeliensis. And uh, that's the one that's specific to mosquito larva. All right, Bill. So I that's loaded correct. up. There's a, there... Go ahead, Bill. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Bill. No, there, yeah, there's a number of different BT variants out there. The, probably the best known is the BTK, the Kerstaki, which uh, affects the larval stage of moths and butterflies or leaf-eating caterpillars so you see an all in agriculture all right um i loaded up a link for anything right now on our facebook live feed to summitchemical.com and their mosquito products they talk about how to use them where to find the products they have um it also has some effective deer repellents that's what i was going to mention next is that Again, going into the summer months, the warmer months, you have new growth and you have deer problems. And one of the products you guys also uh, push is no, I think I have that one right. That's no, true. We, yeah, we we do have a product called Deer Ban. And, uh, there, there's a ton of deer out there, and what that tells you is people definitely have deer and, and other animals, either our plants or, yeah, that's the primary reason why people want to get rid of deer. And so most repellents, most repellents on the market are based, most of them are liquid sprays and most of them are based on smell, and the foliage taste bad or smell bad to the deer. And while it can be effective, uh, one drawback for some repellents is that the odor is so overpowering in the backyard. <laughs> they, they don't want to sit back there after they've sprayed. So ours is a little bit different. It's Our repellent is not a spray. It's a capsule designed for perimeter protection around plants. So you place it on 
you water it to activate. It's a, it's a gel, a polymer gel in a capsule. And when you water, the gel absorbs water, gels out, and releases the aroma of the active ingredient, which in our case is not making it taste bad or smell bad, but it's triggering an innate response in the deer because the active ingredient is coyote urine. So it's a predator response that we're trying to simulate. And once the deer get wind of that and, and feel that there might be a predator in the area, then they meander over to the neighbor's house to have lunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and that's great. I mean, talk about an easy way to use a product because, you know, like you said, most repellents, they have to be sprayed on the foliage or, you know, they're a granular that you're shaking around the plants yeah. or sometimes even on the plants. This is just they're literally little pills and you just place them throughout your garden and then they release that odor. And, you know, that's a really easy way to do it. Sure. You don't have to deal with those messy, smelly chemicals or liquids. So that's awesome. Um, well, and also the nice thing is that they're long lasting. Yeah. Cause that's always hard too, because as soon as on those repellents that go on the foliage, either the plant grows and it doesn't have it on it anymore, or you trim it and it doesn't have it on anymore. That's the biggest thing with lawns is people put repellents on lawns, but they constantly cut their lawn every week. All that repellent goes away then. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Bill, well, thank you very much for joining us this weekend. Lots of great information and great products that are timely right now for all of our listeners. Again, summitchemical.com for more information. I loaded up a couple links to the deer band, to the mosquito products, but all kinds of other products on there for, um, you know, yard insects, but they're safe to use, vegetables, fruits, edibles, and things like that. Um, what are you up to this weekend, Bill? Uh, enjoying just a marvelous, marvelous weekend here in Baltimore. Uh, our, our weather is in the high 70s, low 80s. With wow, perfect. Very little humidity. It's, it, it's the perfect weekend. Awesome. Well, enjoy it. Have fun. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Very good. Thanks so much, guys. Good. Thank, Thank you, Bill. That's good stuff. It's important stuff. Uh, especially, as John mentioned, I know Midwest and back east, uh, mosquitoes are a huge, huge problem. Yeah, and... It's not just a matter of it being a problem because they're a nuisance biting you and, you know, disrupting your your outdoor enjoyment, but they are very problematic. I mean, I, I look on my, um, what is it that I get? My water bill every couple months, mm -hmm. and part of my fee is vector control. Yep, exactly. And that's because, you know, mosquitoes, rats, those kinds of things, they're very problematic in our communities. They can carry diseases, and, you know, that that's why we don't have – the problems that third world countries sure. have is because we implement this control and these these things that stop the population. I'm very surprised to hear that comment from Florida about them just spraying. Oh, I know. Camp, just I feel like that would never happen in California. Just everywhere <laughs> and anywhere. The last time we had anything like that, John, correct me if I'm wrong, going for decades was malathion, right? And they used to just spray malathion from, from right. airplanes. Right. And it was just settling everywhere. Well, so you know, not the smartest getting thing. a little bit off the subject, but going back to uh, when Rachel Carson wrote Silent Spring back in 1962, mm -hmm. they had decided that they were going to wipe out fire ants in, uh, in the south, like from Florida over to, I think they had gotten as far west as uh, maybe Texas? Mississippi. Oh, okay. Not quite to Texas. Not, okay. They eventually ended up there. Can you save this story till after the break? I can. Because it's going to be a great tease. People are going to want to wait and hear this about fire ants and the story John's about to tell. Open phones. We've got open Facebook questions, comments. It is uh, summertime. What's on your mind? What's happening? Facebook Live questions, comments, or John at uh, GardenAmerica.com. You can also reach us at 855-424-9825 on this uh, Saturday morning, happy weekend, Tiger Palafox, John Bagnasco, I'm Brian Maine. We're coming right back. Wow, your flowers are gorgeous. What's your secret? It's no secret. It's bare advanced. You mean these blue bottles? Uh-huh. I protect my beauties with all-in-one rose and flower care. It's insect and disease control plus fertilizer. Really? What's this 12-month tree and shrub protect and feed? Oh, I use it on my trees. It kills bugs for up to a year, plus it feeds. It's that easy. Hey, where are you going? To get my own. I want a great yard, too. Bear Advanced. 
Get more from the Blue Bottle. Always read and follow label instructions. This is Joe Lample from Growing a Greener World. With the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite Organic Nitrogen Fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to three months. The organic nitrogen is slow release and won't burn plants even during hot, dry weather. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for 90 years. Melorganite. For better results naturally. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. If your credit card bills have gotten out of hand, call Consolidated Credit now. If you're making the minimum payments, but your balance is just not going down, call Consolidated Credit now. If the interest rates on your credit cards are so high, it will take years to get out of debt, call Consolidated Credit now. They've helped over 5 million people. They can consolidate your debts into one lower payment, reduce your interest rates, and get you out of debt fast. If you're struggling with credit card debt, call Consolidated Credit now. Call now, 800-350-3241. That's 800-350-3241. 800-350-3241. Consolidated Credit Counseling Services Incorporated, 5701 West Sunrise Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33313. Not a loan company licensed by the New York Department of Financial Services and by the Vermont Department of Financial Regulation. Maryland DM19, Oregon DM80031. Licensed by Virginia State Corporation, commission licensed under DC32. Establishment of a plan may adversely affect the individual's credit rating or credit scores. Non-payment of debt may be creditors to increase financial charges or collections activity, including litigation. This is an urgent health notice for all residents suffering from back, neck, knee, and wrist pain. You may qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost to you, but the deadline is fast approaching. Simply call the Health Alert Hotline now. You heard right. You may qualify for a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace. These items may even be covered by Medicare or your private insurance. The Health Alert Hotline is your brace company. These specialized braces have been tested for pain relief. Call us toll-free right now to determine your eligibility and to learn how to use your private insurance or Medicare to minimize your out-of-pocket cost. Don't wait. If the deadline passes, you may lose your opportunity to get a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace at little or no cost to you. 800-306-1760. 800-306-1760. 800-306-1760. That's 800-306-1760. I live alone and rarely have visitors. So when I slipped and fell in the kitchen last month and couldn't get to a phone, I knew I was in trouble. Help! I could barely move. Help! I tried calling for help, but no one could hear me. As I lay there, I couldn't help but think of my kids and grandkids having to go on without me. I was terrified. It took eight hours for my neighbor to find me. It could have been the end of me. That's when I knew I needed life alert. Just one press of this button, I'm connected to the Life Alert Center, where I can get the help I need, even when I cannot reach a phone. With Life Alert, I'm never alone. Call 1-800-414-1958 for your free Life Alert brochure. That's 1-800-414-1958. 1-800-414-1958. Call for your free Life Alert brochure today at 1-800-414-1958. Attachment to your home's plumbing. Thanks to the thermosponge and thermofiltration system, use the water an incredible 144 times a day. You simply fill it with a garden hose, and your water stays crystal clear with very little maintenance. Call to receive a free DVD and brochure and find out how you can own a thermosponge hot tub for only a few dollars a day. Right now, they're offering 0% APR financing with approved credit and a $1,000 savings coupon, including free delivery, free chemicals, and a cash discount. And with models starting at $4,995, there will never be a better time to own a Thermospas hot tub. So call now and ask about this limited time offer. Call Thermospas today at 800-956-7183 for your free DVD and brochure. That's 800-956-7183. Thermospas, hot tubs designed to improve your life. Call 800-956-7183 today to take advantage of 0% APR financing. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back 
to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Hey, you are back with your garden buddies, Tiger Palafox, John Bagnasco, Brian Main. Happy Saturday, happy weekend here. Biz Talk Radio, John at GardenAmerica.com, 855-424-9825. And again, Facebook Live, questions, comments, and people asking about other repellents. And yes, there are. You know, rabbits and things like that, right, Tiger? Yeah, so I mean, I'm sure one of the reasons why they don't, uh, Summit Chemicals doesn't call their deer ban rabbit ban is because there's a process in getting products um certified in how they're how they're labeled and all of that Uh, stuff that's true but the i mean it's out there and that same principle is used towards rabbits if if you use a predatory odor in your area Mm -hmm. you know those animals are going to get scared away whether it's a rabbit a deer um I mean, you know, even things like, you know, the squirrels and those kinds of animals, if they sense a predator is around, they're going to go away. So not to say that deer ban will work on rabbits because it's obviously not labeled in that way. But there are repellents that I know that do have coyote urine that are labeled for rabbits. And so, um, you know, there's it depends, though, like Bill had mentioned on on kind of the the creature and what it's doing. If it's just trying to get them out of the area. Those fear-based repellents are really good. If they're actively eating plants that you want them to stop eating, you know, there are repellents that you spray on the foliage, and that'll kind of, you know, make them move on through the yard. Or, you know, there's also the repellents that are odor-based, but those are usually not odor that we like. And so, you know, rotten eggs, garlic... What else is a common thing that they use? Um, that sounds like my dinner last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so those ones are ones that, again, you're just trying to get the, the critters to stay out of the area. Yeah, so, we've talked about products before, John. Deer, ram, rabbit, ram, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and like Bill mentioned, if you do have that Neighbors, it's just as easy for them to have the least right. No, you know. coming out of spite, eat your roses. <laughs> Kathy did mention, though, is there a bear repellent? I don't know if I would use the coyote urine for a bear repellent, though, because that's probably attracting right? a bear. <laughs> You'll think, oh, there's, oh, there's, there's a coyote food. here, there's food in the area, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, no bear repellents that I know of. Um, and then, uh, there was another question, um, how far down do we have to go? Um, I don't know. while you're doing that, my story. Right. Yeah, John. Sorry. Yeah, John, go ahead. Yeah. We were talking about, uh, in, in the 1950s, uh, I think it was the late fifties. Fi- fi- fire ants. Fire ants. Uh, they actually came in through the port of Mo- Mobile, Alabama, and they came up from South America and they spread from Alabama over to Florida quickly because the conditions were ideal. And the U.S. Department of Agriculture uh, decided that they needed to wipe out fire ants before they spread anywhere else. And so they they used dieldrin and heptachlor, I believe. And I bet you can't buy that anymore. <laughs> well, dieldrin was many times more powerful than DDT. Wow. And uh, this is uh, there's an account of this in Rachel Carson's called uh, the chapters called indiscriminately from the skies. I, I, I get of, going. Yeah, she had another one called uh, Beyond the Dreams of the Borges. Fantastic title because Borges were famous for poisoning. But anyway, so uh, they sprayed uh, aerial spraying. Communities, areas, everywhere that they thought that the fire might exist, and immediately they wiped out huge percentages of the bird population. Gosh, uh, pets were killed. Um, even some cattle were killed. And the one, uh, is 
war and killing of uh, the one thing they forgot would which it killed oh everything else but the virus. yeah making these decisions oh good gosh. golly well fortunately you know, I think the EPA today goes overboard you know if there aren't some check situations like yes. had back then so there there should be a balance or in hey uh, because I want to make sure we get taken hour. We have a contact going on. Yes, John, please explain what's going on. Well, last week, one of our listeners of a rhododendron, which had come up from seed in his yard. And I think we have a, do we have a picture on Facebook? Yes, we do. I'll, put, we do. I'll post it again. Okay. So Tom's going to post that picture again. And the listener sent us a note and said, since he thought we were good at coming up with names for plants, if we could come up with a variety name for that particular rhododendron, and then we make a contest out of it. So we've had had probably 50 suggestions so far. The contest week. So if you can come up with a name for this rhododendron, if you go to the Garden America radio show on Facebook, you can see the rhododendron. And if you look at our newsletter from this week, you'll see some names that have already been suggested. But whoever submits the winning name for this particular rhododendron is going to win a, a trowel. Special a trowel, which has a bottle of it, a bottle of HB 101, and a radio. How about that? A special radio, and these are some of the finest, best radios on the market. Absolutely the best. Yeah, we, we've, we've all got one. So all you have to do is just come up with a name. If you, uh, I guess you can post your answer on Facebook, but you can also send an email direct to me, john at gardenamerica.com, and uh, also include your name and the city that you're from. Yes. Uh, along with your guess. And most people have been guessing, you know, putting through one mm -hmm. one guess. You can come up with. Uh, or suggestion, I should say. You can come up with three or four, as many suggestions as you want, and we'll be happy to consider those. I think I put in the newsletter that the contest goes through next Saturday. I believe so. We'll double-check that. But anyway, anyway, John at GardenAmerica.com or Facebook. And, Ty, we've got that picture posted on Facebook. Are you, you going to yep. repost it? I just reposted it, and it's in our Facebook feed now. Okay. Uh, we're going to work on the audio problem uh, during the break with our uh, Facebook live feed, so hang in there. And again, we've got news coming up on many of these affiliates. Today's replay uh, for those in Southern California, Los Angeles on AM 740. That's going to do it for the San Diego broadcast on AM 1240. We're going to come back with uh, Facebook Live and give you a break back at six minutes after. Stay with us. The opinions you hear on Biz Talk Radio are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and do not necessarily reflect those of this station, Biz Talk Radio, its management, or advertisers. The information on Biz Talk Radio does not constitute a recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or service. If you have any questions about Biz Talk Radio, contact us at 817-274-1609 or at biztalkradio.com. Biz Talk Radio. For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. In response to President Donald Trump's decision to impose tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese imports, China says it'll impose an additional 25% tariff on 659 U.S. goods worth $50 billion. China analyst Erland X says U.S. tariffs on Chinese imports will not considerably affect the Chinese economy as long as the U.S. acts alone. If the EU, Japan, and some other countries were to team up with the U.S. in a more sophisticated strategy, then I think they will be more alarmed. An editorial in the parties of Fools Daily said the U.S. instigation of a trade war is extremely destructive to global trade. A second sheriff's deputy in Kansas City died early this morning after an inmate overpowered two officers yesterday and may have used one of their guns to shoot them. They were transporting the prisoner across the street from the jail for a court hearing when he overpowered them. You're listening to USA Radio News. 
You don't need rocket science. You don't need a PhD in ethics. Yeah, because I usually keep it pretty clean. All right, will you um, hit that on top? You have to keep it clean because of the FCC regulations. Hold it.